END here. Regenerate is a classic mechanic first appeared in Alpha back in 1993. It represents a creature's ability to jump back from potential fatal situation, essentially protecting it from destruction by magical or combat damage. Regeneration is a replacement effect, which means the next time the permanent would be destroyed this turn, instead remove all damage marked on it and its controller taps it. If it's an attacking or blocking creature, remove it from combat. When a creature with the ability to regenerate would be destroyed, whether by lethal damage or effects like destroy target creature, you can pay the cost associated with its regeneration to prevent that destruction. If you activate regeneration, the creature taps. If it's not already tapped, removes all damage it sustained and stays on the battlefield instead of going to the graveyard. But how do you play regenerate? Let's build our battlefield and let's cast Silvos Rogue Elemental 3 and 3 green. 5 8 with trample for one green regenerated any creature with regenerate it's a normal creature spell therefore when casted it will go on the stack there can be a counter there can be a response nothing happens and Silvos will hit the battlefield scenario one destroy let's say our opponent will cast murder destroy target creature they will target Silvos. Silvos will die but i will pay one green regenerate it and tap it scenario 2 destroy while attacking let's swing with silvos my opponent will cast again murder targeting my silvos i will pay one green regenerate it and tap it silvos is removed from combat therefore no damage is assigned scenario 3 counters Let's say my Silvos has a plus one plus one counter. My opponent will cast again murder targeting my Silvos. I will pay one green, regenerate it and tap. The counter or counters will remain on Silvos because when you regenerate, you are never changing zones. Very important. Scenario four, equipped. Let's equip Silvos with Amber Cleave. My opponent will cast again murder targeting my Silvos. I will pay one green, regenerate it and tap it. The equipment will remain attached to Silvos because when you regenerate again, you are never changing zones. Same applies to scenario five, enchanted. Let's say our Silvos is enchanted with a splinter twin. My opponent will cast again Murder, targeting my Silvos. I will pay one green, regenerate it and tap it. And again, the enchantment will remain attached to Silvos because you are never changing zones when you regenerate. Scenario 6, board wipes. When a spell like Red of God or Damnation is cast, which specifically says destroy all creatures, they cannot be regenerated. You can still pay the one green to attempt to regenerate Silvos. However, the regeneration will have no effect and Silvos will still be destroyed. On the other hand, for board wipes like Depopulate or Supreme Verdict, which simply says destroy all creatures without preventing regeneration, you can regenerate Silvos, allowing him to survive. Scenario 7 Exile. If an opponent casts a spell that exiles Silvos, like Path to Exile, or cast a board wipe like Farewell or Sunfall, which exiles creatures, regenerating Silvos will have no effect. Regeneration only prevents destruction, not exile, so Silvos will still be exiled. Same applies to Scenario 8 Sacrifice. If an opponent forces you to sacrifice Silvos with a spell like Shieldred Addict, you still have to sacrifice Silvos. Regenerate Silvos before or after the sacrifice will have no effect. Some notes. Regeneration is a destruction replacement effect. The word instead doesn't appear on the card, but is implicit in the definition of regeneration. If the effect of a revolving spell or ability regenerates a permanent, it creates a replacement effect that protects the permanent the next time it would be destroyed this turn. 
If the effect of a static ability regenerates a permanent, it replaces destruction with an alternative effect each time that permanent would be destroyed. In this case, regenerate permanent means instead remove all damage marked on the permanent and its controller steps it. If an attacking or blocking creature, remove it from combat. Abilities that trigger from damage being dealt like enrage still trigger even if the permanent regenerates. When a creature is regenerated, it doesn't actually get destroyed. It never changes zones. Regeneration replaces the creature being destroyed with other effects. Counters, auras, equipment, etc. etc. doesn't get unattached from the creature because it doesn't change its zones. An effect that says can be regenerated means that the regenerate replacement effect won't be applied to that creature even if one is activated. If something can't be regenerated, you can still cast spells and activate abilities that produce a regenerate effect, but they won't do anything useful. Regeneration doesn't protect against effects that cause a creature to be exiled or sacrificed. The creature still taps and is removed from combat, so it won't deal damage or continue to participate in the battle that turn. So that's how you play regenerate. It's a very old mechanic, but sometimes can get a little bit confusing. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about this old mechanic? Would you like it to see a return in standard? And as always, subscribe to subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world. I'm out.